Don't get the timing wrong, okay? We have to enter them at the same time to... I know. All right. Here we go. I'll pick an ally. But I think there's also Three, a possibility... Two, one. That Junpei is gonna pick Betray. I'm going with I'm going ally. I'm going ally. Done. My decision is final. My decision has been made. Junpei, please don't screw us over. Please. I beg of you. I beg of you, man. All votes have been received. Oh my god, the AB room. Results will be displayed on the monitor. Come on, Junpei. Don't be. Please, I beg of you. You son of a bitch! You fucking son of a bitch! What the? Why? You fucker. <laughs> you fucker. Sorry, Carlos. There's nothing gained by choosing Betray, right? You said that. But you forgot, Carlos. There actually was something. What? What are you? The three in Q team, currently dead. With three more, the X door will be able to be opened. Sure. The same fate. That's right. If you die, Diana and Sigma will die as well. No. So then, you... Don't take it the wrong way. I didn't choose Betray so I could escape. I know you do anything for the little sister you love. So that's why I figured you'd choose to push Betray yourself. So, essentially it was a defensive move. I... I only wanted to protect Akane and Fai. Junpei, Carlos? Oh. There's a Japanese saying, assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means you should never trust strangers so easily. <laughs> Bastards. Goddamn. <gasps> well, Maria. son of a bitch. God damn. Oh, good job, Junpei. Game over. Hey, hey. Look at that. Uh, let's, I guess we could save over whatever, save file that we got going on. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Let's go back now. Go to that particular end. Right, go to that particular scenario. Which one was it? It was this one here. There's an AB game. Ally. I'm guessing we have to betray and then we can finally do the third option. So let's go back here. We'll betray Junpei, unfortunately. But there's a lock there. There's a lock. It means there's something we can unlock there. Something's gonna be pretty important for us to unlock. Don't we skip through all this? Fortunately, now I'm gonna pick betray. Junpei, I'm sorry, buddy. Pick betray. So now we gotta pick betray so we can get something going. Maybe some sort of an ending. We'll see. Results will be displayed on the monitor. Oh, let's see what happens here. But there gotta be an ending with a pick ally. Sorry, Junpei. And sorry, Akana and Fai. No! Why? You piece of shit! You tricked me! No! No! I didn't! I swear! It was because the last time we voted, you chose Betray. Oh! So I... The hell are you going on about? We've only done this once. Oh shit! Oh shit! He remembered it. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, are you okay, Junpei? Wake up! What the hell, asshole? This is all your. I. You're the one who killed me first! First, you remembered it! What? What is going on? How do I even know about it last time? Junpei's right. This should have been the first time. So, 
Why do I think there was another one? When did this last time happen? There's a Japanese saying, assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means you should never trust strangers so easily. This is, this is like ah, when I'm in a fire. Maybe I, does this mean I've somehow been avoiding the paths leading to death? Ah! Oh yeah, and then, oh, never mind. Oh God. How dare you? Oh shit. How dare you kill me? Akame! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> There's nothing more of him at this point, Akane. I promise you that. He beat every single thing out of him. Holy fuck! Damn, Akane! Oh. 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 Akane, you. Uh, Junpei. Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. But also, oh my god. Akane fights for her man, and Jesus Christ, Akane. Damn. <laughs> Wow! Kind of truly fights for a man, doesn't she? Jesus. Alright, let's go back to the flow again, see if it's unlocked this time around. A big game decision. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. There's a new thing, there's a new event here. I want to know what that's all about. Something brand new here. Ooh. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just. Well, not many people wanted to be friends. Oh. He's gonna remember everything now. Uh, where? His consciousness went back. You okay? Is... Is this before the A-B game? What? Okay... Uh, should I keep going? Y yeah I always saw her uh, sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch, crying and apologizing over and over to them. He remembers everything. How, how, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Then why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine, I uh, guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No, wait! Something's weird. Hello, pot calling kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Um, uh, Junpei? Carlos? Gotta talk about this now. They gotta pick Ally. They have to pick Ally together. I think... I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Mm hmm Shift? Space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is... is that...? The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. 
You're saying the me here right now came from a different history? Mm -hmm. Well, your consciousness at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met using a car as a time machine. Know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Mm -hmm. The high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yes, the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him Ed. Oh my god, they can't talk about now, it because of... According to the plot, <laughs> he's successful at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh. I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. Let's talk about Back to the Future, but by the way. Did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Huh. Well, now that you mention it. <sighs> I, I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. Mm -hmm. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. Meaning, if someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. The other type is where multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation one of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. Learn about it in science game, the by the way. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, so back to the movie. First, let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder? Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house, let's call him M2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh? But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But... The only memories that M retained uh, are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten, all because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? In a way. Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went? This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. In a way, that's depressing. What is? Uh, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of which scenario happens. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, 
Uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally is dead. No. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. But wait, Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. Mm -hmm, he did. I just sort of knew too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning, but that wasn't what it was. Reverie syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind as if one was constantly dreaming. You heard about that too? We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Huh. Then she's like us. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, though it's slightly different. In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Is that true? I see. That's good. Yeah. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! Maria! Maria, is that you? Just stay there! I'm coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. Mm -hmm. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires, and which way would lead to my death. Oh, this, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? What? There's really no reason to play the A-B game. Well... As it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick Ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll work! The three of us will definitely be able to do it! But only... if we find our lives in danger. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna Wait, use the nuke. What do you mean by danger? Oh, she's gonna use the nuke. The reactor. They're gonna use the reactor? They try to put himself in danger so they can shift. Yep, yep, that's what she's gonna do. The control panel has detected an error in the program. Main cord required to supply additional deterioration. Please quarantine or disconnect the control panel. Hey, uh, uh, Kane? Hmm? You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. But this this is absolutely nuts. It is. Even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up... Do you plan on dying here then? Oh, right. I forgot you were like that. The main cord is preventing the shield from deploying. Please evacuate. 
Evacuate now. Please evacuate now. So, where do we need to jump to? Um... Well... You... you didn't consider that part? Well, if we knew in advance, the effect of the threat would be lessened. You're not affected by any of this at all, are you? That's not true. Here, look, my heart's pounding so fast. Do you want to check it? Oh. <laughs> until detonation. Uh, hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. We're gonna make a decision. Ah, uh, shit! Okay. Uh, we're just gonna have to go for Yes, there you go. Jump to the same history I am. The same history? Which one? Think. There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, my God. We gotta go back there. Are you insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed. It's okay. I have a plan. 30 seconds until detonation. Oh, my God. All right. I trust you, Junpei. Ah, damn it. Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh my god. They're gonna jump. We gotta go back to that area, that, that zone, that particular event. <gasps> Yo, dude, this is so cool. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm definitely saving this. Keep good. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Oh. My fucking god. Let's go back here. This is where we gotta go. Okay. This is the alternative alternative future. Oh my god, we finally I knew there was gonna be something bigger to this. I knew there was gonna be something bigger. Wait, 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 that one doesn't count. Oh, oh um I uh uh Your hand slipped! That was it, right? Yeah, what she said. Uh, you, you wouldn't mind a little do-over, right? Zero? And here they go. But now they gotta get gunned down, aren't they? D did it work? But... this is... Hurry, Junpei! What was your idea? Yeah, um, right. First. Oh god, what do you do? What the hell? Carlos, put Akane in the fireplace. Huh? Just do it! Oh, shit. Junpei, what are you- Why do you not crowd? Akane, listen to me. Carlos and I are going to be your shield wall. What? What are you talking about? The bullets shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. But if you do that, then you'll... It's okay. Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and die. The fuck? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Before we die, we just need to shift to another history. Oh. Once you hear all of the X-Passes, Akane, you should follow right away. The, the X-Passes? In this history, five are already dead. Five's the only other one alive. That means five X passes will be revealed. If Carlos's and mine are added to that, then there'll be seven. No! Damn it, Junpei. What the hell is this plan? You're going to help, right? God damn it! Oh god. Oh god. Please don't do this. We we can't go back now. This is the only way. Where are we jumping? To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. Oh okay. shit. Let's do this then. Let's protect Akane. No matter what. I'm counting on you, Carlos. No! Fuck. Ooh. And Akana has to suffer through that before she jumps with them. Holy shit! 
Oh my god! Oh, I actually feel bad for Kana. She literally has to watch them die first, hear the x and then jump. Or shift. God. I feel horrible for putting her through that. Horrible. You're horrible, Junpei. Well, I should go now. I guess the trauma allowed her to shift on her own like that. Holy shit! Geronimo got a chip of Geronimo! Okay, we're going back here. There we go, we're doing this. Okay, so now they know the x so they should be able to get out, no problem then. I think. Right? 